What do you think? I think we're dead meat. Real dead meat. You're dead meat! Go ahead and laugh, you guys. If I ever find a little basses at this, at dead meat. Welcome to the Dead Meat Podcast, an extension of the YouTube channel Dead Meat. I'm James A. Janice. I'm Chelsea Rebecca, and we are boyfriend and girlfriend, and we like to get scared together. Yeah. What are we doing today, Chels? <laughs> today, we're going to see how well James knows his horror movie tagline. Ooh, what's a tagline for anyone who might not know? A tagline is basically the thing on the poster that... And you know what? How do you describe a tagline? Uh, is basically the thing on the poster that is like a marketing line. Hey, it's you like, know what's bad is huh? so we're currently volunteering with an organization to teach kids screenwriting. Yeah, fifth graders. We just had our lesson about taglines and we can't explain what they are. <laughs> <laughs> we should yeah, bring one a, of the kids on to explain it. It was like a whole class on taglines. We came up with taglines. It's kind of what inspired this, to yeah, be honest. As, yeah, it, it did. Yeah, yeah. For sure. It's, it's basically so, you know, you go see a movie, you got the poster. So Jaws 2 is... Uh, just when you thought it was safe to go back in the water. Exactly. Yeah, it's just a fun little marketing line. It uh, The best ones are clever and give you a hint of what the movie's going to be about. Yeah, so I would say a lot of people's favorite horror tagline, which I did not put on here because everyone knows it. In space, space no, no one, can, one hear can hear you scream. scream. That's what I guessed that's it was, alien. alien, for sure. So that's... Uh... Not on here, because that'd be too easy. Okay, so what are the rules of this little game that okay, we Okay, here's the rules. Okay. I'm going to read you a tagline, and you have to guess whether it's real or fake, and if it's real, what movie it's from. Okay, so there's two parts to each thing. Yes. How many taglines you got there, hon? Um, uh, too <laughs> ma- I, I'm not going to count. I'll okay. Just, enough. Okay. Okay. Ready? Yeah, we're just jumping right in. Yeah, sure. I don't know what else to say. Let's yeah. do it. All I mean, right. do you? I, you know, I was going to ask you if you had any favorites, but I'm afraid that they would show up on here, and then that's no I, fun. It's hard for me to just remember taglines on the spot. Besides, Alien. That's it. I think another good one is Reanimator. Is uh, Doctor Herbert West has a good head on his shoulders, and another one on his desk. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's right. That's right. Another that's one great. I didn't use because obviously James knows who Doctor Herbert West <laughs> is. <laughs> Just made a reference to him in my Saw Two kill count, actually. Oh yeah, because uh, the key to one of the traps is attached to a syringe with like glowing green fluid inside. Yep. yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ready? Okay. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Well, it's real. Yes, but do you remember what it's from? I feel real dumb. I I I don't blame you because I wouldn't have remembered what this is from either because it's referenced so much. Yeah. Uh, okay. How about we play this kind of like how we play this internal game that you and I often do, like twenty questions it's style. All, yeah, it's kind of twenty questions okay. style. So okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna limit you to a few questions so that this isn't ten hours long. For sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's give me a limit of three. Okay. Okay. Did it and it has to be yes or no questions. Okay. Did it come out in the nineties? No. Fuck. I should have I should have been more specific with that. Um. Shit. Did it come out in the 80s? Yes. Ooh. Shit, I wish I had the years down on here. Oh, yeah, I'm going to no. say yes. Okay. Is it Poltergeist? No. Okay, what is it? The Fly. Uh, I'm afraid. Don't be afraid. No. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Really? Yeah. That seems weird. It do- Right? It seems so um, broad. Yeah. You know, like so broadly referenced for a movie that I would say is a little cult it's very cult was that early 80s i feel like that would be mid or late 80s oh i feel like that's that i don't think goldblum was uh carrying movies in the early 80s okay fair i don't think so i might be wrong as big of a goldblum fan as i am i should know that but okay okay that's a uh i'd say that's a well-referenced tagline what do you think a better tagline for the fly would be (laughs) oh boy oh my what is it called when you're doing like because it's like a fly lunge or lift like a press when you're oh oh no like uh flies they're just called flies yeah something like that because he's doing pull-ups and stuff in that movie oh okay okay um uh 
what what whatever his character name is. Assume I'm saying that oh, name. Oh, uh, uh, Brundle. Oh, you're right, Brundlefly. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is he a doctor? I think he is. Okay, let's say let's say. How about ooh, Doctor Brundle came up with this experiment on the fly. Oh, ooh. nice. Because I was gonna go like, uh, Doctor Brundle can do 500 push-ups, 8,000 or 800 pull-ups, and one fly. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> Now I'm like, was he a doctor? He's one of those weird, like a Herbert West. Like, is he a doctor? Hey, though? Herbert West is a doctor. <laughs> Does he have a doctorate for real? Uh, he was a student. I was going to say, because he moves into student housing. So mm-hmm. I don't know. You don't want to call These, are the, don't these tell- are the details I don't pay attention to. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. The man of your dreams is back. Is this fake? No. Is it real? It's real. Okay, so I got three questions to try to narrow it down. I mean, I just had... Oh, is this Nightmare on Elm Street 2, Freddy's Revenge? Yes. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> so that's a good one. Man of your dreams, you know who you're talking about. Freddy Krueger is back. You got a sequel. Mm-hmm. That's it. Because anything else in that movie, I don't know if you want to put in a tagline. It's like... Yeah, that's, <laughs> there's <laughs> bare asses in this. Come see the, it. The man of your dreams... <laughs> Is back and ready to cruise. Yeah, he's <laughs> back and spanking butts in a shower. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Number three, he just wants to ask you a question. I feel like this could be a fake one, but I'll say it's tr- it's real. No, it's fake. It's fake. I made okay, it up. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. What movie could that be good for? I'd say Hatchet, probably. Hatchet, if you're. It wouldn't actually be a tagline for this, but it'd be a funny one. The Shining. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like on a t-shirt, maybe. Mm-hmm. Stanley Kubrick would not allow that anywhere near <laughs> any of his posters for no. The Shining. Someone would come up to Stanley Kubrick <laughs> and pitch that tagline to him, and he would smack them in the face. Yeah, Like, yeah. literally, he probably would. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Man is the warmest place to hide. Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> oh, no, wait, no, that's Tauntauns. Tauntauns are the warmest place to hide. Uh, the Revenant. No, that's Bears. Bears are the warmest place to hide. Man is the thing. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and man. It isn't Benny. Is the warmest place to hide. Yeah, that's the thing. The original OG. The John Carpenter. Oh yeah. Remake, the, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I was like, is there? Yeah, there was. A- the prequel, which is also named The Thing. That's right. Similarly to how this effing Halloween sequel. Oh, yeah. Is just gonna be I forgot Halloween. it was The Thing and The Thing, and now it's going to be Halloween and Halloween. But at least The Thing. No, because The Thing's a prequel. It's not a, it's not a remake. I think people thought it was a remake. I mean, it basically is. But it's, but it's not. You know, canonically, they both exist right. in the same universe. They, it just uses a lot of the same imagery. What a confusing thing. And it's just so annoying that this Halloween sequel is called Halloween. Why? There's three Let Halloweens out, now. I know. Because there's Carpenter, there's Zombie, and there's what? Green? And Danny McBride. Danny the McBride. <laughs> Don't say Danny Halloween. DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one I want. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Oh man, that'd be. I just thought a little bit about what that would be like if he was Michael Myers. What if Danny DeVito yeah. was Michael Myers? I don't. It's hard for me to at this point. It's hard for me to separate Danny DeVito from Frank Reynolds. It's very <laughs> difficult. <laughs> so I'm just imagining Michael Myers like all sweaty coming out of a leather <laughs> couch and like. Lifting up his mask to put some eggs in, <laughs> to eat some eggs. Uh, okay, any think any better catch uh, taglines that we could come up with for the thing? There's a dozen men at this research station, but one of them might not be. How about it's a doggone scary movie? Yeah. All right. Okay. The only thing more terrifying than the last twelve minutes of this film are the first 92. Nice. I like this. So it's a movie that's 104 minutes long. Do you think it's real or fake? Oh, yeah. Uh, Real? Yeah. Okay. It's real. I, that's, that would be, if you came up with that, I'd be like, where'd your mind go to 
Yeah, yeah it's, would, it's very specific. It's a very weird I was looking line. at that one when I was trying to make up ones that would sound real enough. Because mm-hmm. some of these get so specific in really weird ways. So my guess that I think is wrong, just because I don't think this movie's that long, is uh, Last House on the Left? No. Okay. That one, that tagline I did not include because that's a very famous one. Yeah. To avoid fainting, keep repeating. It's It's only a movie. Only a movie. Only a movie. Okay. Yeah. That's a good one. Okay. In the right time period. I'll give you that. So like late 70s, early 80s? Yes. Right? That's when that was? Late 70s? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Okay. So three questions. Is it a slasher? I'm going to say no. I think that'll that'll push okay. you in the wrong direction. That's fair. Um, is it... I mean, is, is it Jaws, the first one? No. Okay. I don't know. What is it? Suspiria. The only thing more terrifying than the last 12 minutes of Suspiria are the first 92 Oh, we just watched that. We did. Oh, I love Suspiria. I know, it's so good. But yeah, oh. that last 12 minutes is pretty crazy. Yeah, that's good stuff. That movie has quite a finale. Mm-hmm. Uh, what are some other taglines for Suspiria? <laughs> <laughs> These are hard to come up with on the spot. They are, but that... What about just bewitched, bothered, and bewildered, like that song? Oh, I thought you just came up with that. No, that's no, a song. no, that's the song. Okay, how about how about this? They're breaking the glass ceiling for terror. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that, I think that's it. Hey, hey, Suspiria remake. If you want that, you can have it for a dollar. And then, a dollar. oh my gosh! And then they can have hashtag. Suspiria is on point. Like it's on point, but it's also on point shoes. Oh, nice. Yeah. There we go. We should get into marketing, dude. I know. We're very good at it. <laughs> I'm sure people who are <laughs> in marketing school or <laughs> do this are just <laughs> like sad for us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You'll never know what hurt you. That's fake. Yeah, that's fake. Yeah, Damn I get- it. <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be a play on You'll Never Know What Hit You. What's that from? Sandlot? No, that's <laughs> just a saying. Oh, okay. No, that's yeah, that's fine. It's not bad. The next scream you hear may be your own. Scream? No. Is it real? Yep, it's okay. real. Okay. Three questions. Was it made prior to the 90s? Yes. Okay. The next scream you hear... Uh, is is here important to the movie? No. No? Okay. The next scream you hear may be your own. Is it like a grungy movie? No. It's not? Okay. Huh. Poltergeist? No. <laughs> you can't just... <laughs> just Poltergeist is po- there here. Oh, Poltergeist fuck, is course. not going to be anywhere on this Damn, list. Damn it. Of course it's there here. <laughs> no, I this think, is I a... think Poltergeist 2 is there back, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, this is the birds. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's such a generic. Uh, such it's, that's such a generic I one. I think the older you get mm-hmm. with some of these movies, the more generic they are. Yeah, just because like movies were still kind of new. <laughs> yeah. They're like, hey, uh, this saying this hasn't been scary. used. Yeah. yeah. This is go see this scary movie. Let's uh, uh, let's come up with a better one though. Something maybe more specific for the birds. Oh, okay. Birds of a feather scream together. Ooh, nice. How about uh how about this summer crows aren't the only birds that fly in a murder? Ooh, I like that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meet the ghoul next door. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think I just I think I just made James spew. I almost spewed coffee everywhere. <laughs> Meet the ghoul next door. Oh, my God. I mean, I'm guessing it's not the ghoulies. Is it real? No. It's not real? <laughs> Just why you laughing made me laugh so hard. I thought you knew instantly it was super shitty. 
<laughs> it's just super. I mean, it's super shitty, but no, there are real. No, it's not. Okay, when I go, because I was like, this has to exist for a movie because it's so good. And I googled Meet the Ghoul Next Door, and there's like a really random young adult book. I think that's called Ghoul Next Door. That sounds like a Goosebumps book, like little saying. Yeah, I think Ghoulies uh, is uh, shit. It was either Ghoulies or Ghoulies Two. That's they'll get you in the end. Oh, I think that's Ghoulies, and it's coming out of a toilet. It's coming right? out of the toilet. But I don't think yeah. that's in the movie at all. Those that, I've only seen the first. I think that ghoulies. might be Ghoulies too. Okay, the the first Ghoulies is not the fun movie that you'd think it would be. It's not a fun movie. Mm-hmm. It's not like a. It's not like a crazy, not silly no Gremlins type thing. No, the Ghoulies are plenty. They're around, but it's it's like an occult movie. I was. I remember he had it on and I was kind of half watching it, so I can't really. Yeah. I had it on the TV and it's like a, it's like a little warlock guy summoning ghoulies and shit. There's like a real estate thing involved. It's dumb. Sorry if I offended any ghoulies fans. <laughs> if this movie doesn't make your skin crawl, it's on too tight. Oh. Is it Evil Dead? No. I know this one. Is it a movie I've covered? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought because this is so familiar. Uh, Is it a one-off that I covered or is it part of a series? It's a one-off. It's a one-off. Okay, that really narrows it down. So uh, it's not... I don't think it's The Mist. Is it your next? Mm Mm-mm. Is it The Mist? No. Is it Trick or Treat? No. Is it... It's not The Thing. Oh, it's not The Living Dead. No. What the fuck other one-offs have I done? Oh, wait, I've done a bunch. Uh, hold on. Is it? <laughs> I was worried. I'm like, wait, is this a one-off? Pretty uh, sure it is. It's not Belco. It's not President's Day. It's, uh, what the? F- this, it has to be like the only remaining one-off movie I've done that I haven't named. What is it? Black Christmas. Black Christmas? Black Christmas. Starring Olivia Hussey, Keir Dulay, Margot Kidder, and starring John Saxon as Lieutenant Fuller. If this movie doesn't make your skin crawl, it's on too tight. That's got a remake. Oh, I I wasn't counting that. (laughs) That's fine. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Again, not very specific. Right. Older movie. It's just, this is a scary movie. Yeah. Let's make a tagline about how it's scary. You but know. if they had made a tagline more specific to the film, what might it be? No, that's too bad. What? The stockings were hung by the chimney with scare. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's too bad. <laughs> oh, no, I can't think of one. Uh, on on the first day, I got nothing. I think we're, we're going to have to go with the scare stockings. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Black Christmas. Or maybe just keep your, your own. What does he say when he calls them on the phone? Is he just saying like, Billy? <laughs> <laughs> That's, I think he's just swearing at them, right? Ag- <laughs> Agnes. Yeah. He just says some shit and then the remake's like, let's make those big deals. <laughs> yeah. Billy. <laughs> Billy. <laughs> That's what he sounds like. <sighs> If this one doesn't scare you, you're already dead. No, the Living Dead. No. Uh, Return of the Living Dead. No. Uh, uh, Dawn of the Dead. No. Is it a zombie movie? No. Is well, it? No. I'm gonna say no. That'll throw you off. Okay. Now I'm thrown off. Is it Idle Hands? It's not Idle Hands. No. <laughs> Is it before the '90s? Yes. They're all before the '90s. Seems like. If this one doesn't scare you, you're already dead. Have I covered it? Mm-hmm. What the Well, fu- we've covered it. So that narrows it down a lot. Oh, is it is it Maximum Overdrive? No. I don't know. What is it? Phantasm. Phantasm. <laughs> if this one doesn't scare you, you're already dead. That's kind of... Oh, I see what you mean about like... You didn't want to say it's yeah, because at first I yeah I said no, but then they're kind of zombies. They're kind of zombies. Yeah, yeah. No, it's safe to say that's not a zombie movie. Yeah, it's a surreal movie. 
I wish we had the time to watch the rest of them, man. Mm-hmm. We, would, I'm sure we will eventually. <laughs> yeah. I would just love to like sit down for a day and watch the rest of the Phantasms, though. Yeah. Uh, what's a better one, though? I don't. Okay. So I don't know what month or season this movie came out in, but I'm just going to say summer for the okay. sake of my tagline. Sure. This summer, have a ball. Oh, damn it. I was going to do summer <laughs> with balls, too. What about, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah you can't yeah. do summer with balls. <laughs> balls. <laughs> uh, goodness gracious, great balls of murder. Wow. Very it's not good. good. <laughs> it's not good. Good to the last drop. That's Folgers. It's Maxwell House coffee. Oh, it's Maxwell House. <laughs> oh, I, I guess Folgers is the best part of waking up is Folgers in your cup. Yeah. So, so yeah, you know what? That's actually, taglines are kind of movie slogans. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. That's a good, we should have uh, led with that. Yeah. Don't answer the phone. Don't open the door. Don't try to escape. I thought it'd be, don't answer the phone. Don't open the door. Everybody, Everybody do the dinosaur. <laughs> uh, did you say don't try to escape? Don't try to escape. This isn't real. It's real. Oh, don't try to escape. <laughs> this feels, is this made after the 90s? No. Shit. Don't try to escape. Why would you not? Why would you not try to escape this, whatever it is? Are these things specific to the movie or is this just kind of a bullshit general one? <laughs> I would say specific. Don't answer the phone. Don't open the door. Don't try to escape. Yes. <laughs> one of those three is very specific. Um, Is it a slasher? Yes. Before the 90s. What? what? You said it wasn't made after the 90s. That's okay. what I said. So it's in the 90s. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Tease that one out of you. A 90s slasher. Oh, it's Scream. It's Scream. It's scream. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you try to escape? I, I don't know. I was wondering that too. Get out of here, marketing. Yep. For Scream. Bring a date if you don't mind her seeing you cry. <laughs> well, I don't, so. <laughs> <laughs> Shows I'm a sensitive guy in touch with my feelings. Uh, <laughs> I mean, this should be like for demons. Because that takes place in a movie theater, so that makes sense. Uh, bring a date. Is that or is that just a general? You're going to see a movie, or does that? Uh, yeah. Be, okay. Okay. Uh, made before the '90s. <laughs> <laughs> there is hesitation here, so I'm guessing this was made in the '90s. 1990. I can't say. What? Oh, you don't know? I don't know. Oh. Bring a date if you're ready. To- Toy Story Three. No, baby, I made it up. It's fake. Oh, <laughs> shit. I was going to see how long I could keep you thinking it was real. And then I. But then you didn't want to lie about the year. I yet. Could, I, yeah, it was hard for me to just run with that one. Mm-hmm. I, 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 I forget the real fake thing. Yeah. Is a, it's an aspect. I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. be better. I'll be better. Now. I thought maybe you'd think it was an older, maybe like a 60s or 70s horror, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Who will survive and what will be left of them? Real. Yes. Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Yeah! Yeah! It just sounded like, it sounded right. Yeah. That's weird because that, to me, I think I would have had a harder time guessing because it's so, you know, it's vague. Yeah, but Texas Chainsaw Massacre is old. That's, yeah. 74. That's true. You know? All right. if If that's vague to you, what would be a better one? I'll go with I'll go with an easy one. The Sawyer family wants to have you for dinner. No, that's so good. <laughs> I don't I I don't think I can top that one. That's okay. I couldn't top the stockings are hung with scare. <laughs> I mean, that is, <laughs> cool. <It's, laughs> he's not Freddy. He's not Jason. He's real. It's real. Yes. It's, okay. He's real. It's not Freddy. He's not Jason. So obviously after those movies, uh, is it late 80s? No. Okay. So it's 90s or later. Um, Real. Who would you like plug? Oh, is it maybe Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer? It is. Yeah. 
Because I was like, one. what movie kind of tries to portray itself as real? As real, yeah. That's a grimy Based movie. Based on a uh, real serial killer. Is it actually? Or yeah. Or did they just say that? It's um, it's Henry Lee Lucas and Otis Toole. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, I saw that movie in college. I did too. I only remember the feeling I had watching it and not really the specifics. Yeah. It's, it's a it's gross disgusting. movie, right? Yeah. 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 It's, uh, it's not a fun movie. That's no. that's one where I remember thinking, all right, I don't know if I need to see that one. Like Last House? Yeah, Last yeah. House on the Left. I don't need to see that one ever again. I might rewatch it because uh, there will be people at Texas Frightmare from it. Oh, so my I'm God. Them, I like, don't even know if I could meet them. It's not an They're enjoyable not fun. movie. Those yeah. are fun villains. Like, I, like, I want to meet, obviously, my boyfriend, Freddy Krueger, in real life because he's fun. <laughs> yeah. The Last House villains are I don't think they're the villains. Fun. If, if it's any consolation, I... Well, the parents are probably deceased at this point. I know. We'd have to look. Yeah. I don't know. It's There are some movies that are just like more chores to watch they, than yeah they definitely crossed the line into being not fun for me mm-hmm. that one especially when it gets like this is too real yeah which doesn't mean that they're bad movies no i it, just don't need to see it ever again because <laughs> like there are certain movies that i haven't seen yet like cannibal holocaust yeah that's one where i'm like it's gonna be too real yeah I feel like I need to see it just as same, far as same. you know, uh, fulfilling that aspect of but our it's horror suck. education. It's gonna suck. Yeah, they're not all fun Freddy movies. Nope. Fear is in the eye of the beheader. Is that fake? Yeah, but it's a good one, isn't it? I feel like it was it was too clever by half. That's why I knew it was fake. Really? Because yeah. it was too good. It was too good. Are you baby. just saying that? No, I'm not just saying that. You're so good. Okay, the game of sweet revenge. It's not Last House on the Left. Is it a? Oh, is it real? Mm-hmm. Okay. What is it? Revenge what? The game of sweet revenge. <laughs> Does sweet have anything <laughs> sweet like particularly chosen for this movie? No? Because Candyman, this would be great for Candyman. Yes, it would. Right? It would be. Why are you laughing so much? <laughs> what? It's real, but it's not a movie. What the fuck? <laughs> tagline for the board game sorry <laughs> god damn it it'd be a great tagline for candy man it would yes or i guess candy man or two where it gets into his origin story oh, okay right because i don't think candy man one deals with the whole how he was a yeah, wronged slave yeah, does, it does. It? Oh, yeah, it does they have a whole scene with like some academic guy oh explaining it i think in candy man two you actually see flashbacks to it oh shit yeah 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 the third dimension is terror. Event Horizon? No, but that'd be... Is it real? It's real, yeah. yeah. Hellraiser? Is it a sci-fi horror? No, I okay. don't think so. I think you're thinking a little too intellectually about... <laughs> the dimension About thing. this one, yes. Okay. <laughs> the third dimension is terror? I don't know. What is it? Jaws 3D. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Jaws 3D. The third dimension is terror. You're like, Event Horizon was like, oh, yeah, he's thinking way too hard. Yeah. Fucking Jaws 3D. Terror has no shape. Fake? Nope, it's real. Terror has no shape. The only thing coming to my mind is the fucking Pokemon Ditto. <laughs> which i would watch i would watch a horror movie with ditto killing people i mean isn't that the thing <laughs> what would that movie be oh the blob yeah oh <laughs> the blob terror has no shape hey ditto <laughs> yeah i hope i hope the blob just ditto oh dude maybe my favorite he's so cute he's pretty cute he's really cute but like can you ever really know if if he's ditto i mean everything he turns into has that stupid face <laughs> oh that's right so i yes. forgot that that was like a fucking <laughs> characteristic that's why he's so cute i love <laughs> it's him. just two dots and a little yeah. line right like <laughs> yeah no one else likes ditto i'll take ditto he's all right i love him we uh, what type is he if i so i could be a what kind of pokemon trainer? i think he's a normal oh which is boring i'd be a normal trainer that sucks 
That's not a thing. I feel it's, like they're all grass and fire and magic. No, there's normal ones. What's nor what's the other normal ones? Um uh, Meowth. Oh, I like Meowth too. I could Ooh, I'll be a normal. A oh, that's well then that that's no fun. I think they're normal. Because there's some like poison type. I'm going off of type. by the way, I'm going off of my experience with Pokemon, which was mostly red, blue, yellow, a little bit of gold, silver, and that's the extent of it. I'm sure retroactively, because they introduced more classes of Pokemon. I'm sure retroactively, these Pokemon Ditto, Meowth, etc. got okay. labeled as Someone something. draw a fan art of me as a Pokemon trainer with Ditto and Meowth. Any others that you like for them to include? If they're, if someone's Gengar. Gonna, you like Gengar? He's Gengar. not normal. He's psychic. He's psychic. Gengar. Gengar. Yeah. Yeah. You like Gengar more than uh, his other two forms? Yeah. I don't know why. I just do. Gen uh, yeah. Sure, because it's ghastly and uh, ghastly. ghastly and uh, haunter. Yeah, I don't yeah. even know what he sounds like. Yeah, I don't know. He's I like him. He looks cool. Yeah, but Gengar's got but legs. But Gengar, and shit. yeah, he's got little stubby arms and legs. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh my god, where the fuck was I? Okay. You were uh, on the Pokemon one. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Some secrets are too big to keep hidden. Hmm. It's real. Yes. Some secrets are too big to keep hidden. Is it made before the 90s? No. Okay. So it's either 90s or after. Secrets. Secret secrets. Hmm. Secret secrets. <laughs> Under my skin. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Give me a hint. Um, Your hint is it's not a horror movie. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is it is it a movie? Yeah. Why are you doing this? Because it's fun. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Some secrets are too big to... Is it like the Santa Claus or some shit? Is it a holiday movie? No. <laughs> is it... Is it... Indian in the cupboard? No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're in the ballpark in terms of movies like a fan, that are a like... fantastical yeah, family. They're just like... Yeah, it's a family film. E.T.? No. Oh, no, that's not 90s or later. I don't know. Jurassic Park? No, it's the classic Shia LaBeouf film. Holes? holes. <laughs> <laughs> digging up, up um, holes, digging. Dig it. All right. Why would you do that? Because it's fun. <laughs> it's fucking holes. Why was, what were the secrets in holes? Um, It was something to do with the one kid's, like, grandma. There's, like, magical mysticism in it. There's like Madame Zeroni. Do you remember any of that? No, I just remember. There's them being magic in... in it. Here they grow again. Real. Yes. Here they grow again. It's a sequel. Mm-hmm. Grow. Oh, Gremlins too. Yeah. Yeah. Gremlins to the new batch. We haven't seen that yet. No, I've, many, I've only seen the first one. I've only seen the first one. A lot and, of people like that second one. Yeah, better. by many accounts, it's like a more fun movie. Maybe not necessarily better, but more fun. Because we, we did a commentary track on the first one. Yeah, it was with Mono. With Mono From Agapian. Horny for Horror. Yeah, from Horny for Horror. Great horror Friend podcast. of the pod. Yes, yeah. check them out. They're great. I would say they're our sister podcast, but I don't think they know that. They're like our older sister podcast mm -hmm. and we're like the little sister podcast who thinks that they're cool. Yeah. And wants to hang out with them. Yeah. And, but we're like kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> hey, they're weird too. That's true. Their name is Horny for Horror. <laughs> That's true. But they're wonderful people. And yeah, we yeah. watched that first Gremlins with Mono. And then didn't the Gremlins come up in a horny bowl? It, and I feel like Mono it, used a lot of the points that we yes, get, that we like discussed. Our, our riffs, yeah. Yeah, and which I, was I like, appreciated. Nice. We prepped him well for that horny bowl. Yeah, yeah. They do kind of a March Madness Sweet 16 style it's bracket. the best. Here, let of, me sell you on Horny for okay. Horror because they do this and I'm so mad that we can't do it because they I, do it. Yeah. They do the horny bowl. They've done three now, I think. Yeah, they're about to do another one. Yeah, and they just have a whole bunch of horror characters in a bowl, and they draw 16 of them, I think. Yeah. They draw enough for a bracket, either 16 I or 32. I think they used to 16, yeah, because yeah. 32 would be insane. Yeah, and then they like go through and they do the matchup, so it's like this horror character against this one but the, not in terms of like who would beat who it's like who would you rather fuck yeah and it's kind of nebulous sometimes it's yeah. who would you rather fuck and sometimes it's just 
who you like more. Yeah. Often it turns into who would you rather be in a stable domestic relationship with? Yeah. (laughs) It's never who would kill the other one because that's boring. But so they've had some great matchups. They include things from Pennywise to the vending machine in Maximum Overdrive. That's right. He was a a contender in the last Horny Bowl, I think. Yeah. So I would definitely recommend if you want to get started on Horny for Horror because it's also a great way. They discuss a lot of uh, uh, movies I haven't seen yet. And it's like, now I have a good idea of what those movies are about yeah. so there's our horny for horror plug yes listen to them after you're done listening to us yes escape or die frying that's fake that's real is it a horror movie chelsea <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> is it a game no is, it's a movie yeah <laughs> escape or die frying yeah. is it food fight <laughs> no is it sausage party no is it food based yeah <laughs> is it why are you laughing so much because i like doing this to you <laughs> <laughs> is it a pixar movie no escape or die frying i don't know i'll give you a hint. oh is it is it is it is it you got this meatballs cloudy with a chance no. of meatballs no oh the disappointment in your eyes i, I thought you had it i don't what is it it's chicken run oh that which movie. i've heard on rewatch is good really? like as an adult because as a kid i was like yeah sure it's chicken run but i've heard watching it as a grown-up it's very good is that stop motion yeah it's the the studio that does wallace and gromit i was gonna say i always confuse it for wallace and gromit yeah so same studio but not part of the Wallace and Gromit cinematic universe? I don't think so. The, no, I think Wallace WGCU. and Gromit are in their own universe with that scary penguin. Mm. He should be a horny bull contestant. He's yeah, scary. He All right. All right. Don't let hunger happen to you. Snickers? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> I, I really thought I would trick you with that one. No. It sounds like a horror tagline. It does. It Like, what what could it be for? Don't let, what is it? Don't let, Don't hunger. let hunger happen to you. I was thinking maybe like American Werewolf in London or something. That's not bad. What if it's, though, like, what if it's... Uh... Thinner? <laughs> <laughs> is there a movie about the Donner Party? Cannibal the Musical. <laughs> yeah. Is there a movie at the Donner Party? I think Cannibal the Musical. Oh, is that what it... I think it's based on that. Uh-oh. Cannibal the Musical is Matt Stone and Trey Parker. That's right. I feel I've like I watched that a long ass oh, time really? ago. Oh, really? I think I've seen clips. Because this was that was like their first I was going to say, ever. that's an old one that I would have watched like at a friend's place. I don't remember. Yeah. That's pretty South about Park. It. That and uh, fucking... What's the other one they did? The sports one. Oh, basketball? Basketball, yeah. That was like mid-South Park, or like right after South Park started, I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, these, I, don't, I just I don't know associate I these with movies that are on at my friend's house that we're half paying attention to. Yeah. Right for the last one. Oh, it's the last one? I know. Okay. I wasn't sure how long these would each take, but now I'm sad I didn't come yeah, up with more. Yeah, we're kind of blown through them. Check in, unpack, relax, take a shower. Is it real? Mm-hmm. Take a shower. Oh, Psycho. Psycho 2. Psycho 3. Psycho 4. The Psycho remake. Yeah, yeah. baby. <laughs> yeah, you and your Psycho it's remake. It's our favorite movie. <laughs> no, it's not. That it's nobody's favorite seen. movie. <laughs> it is absolutely zero people's favorite movie. The Psycho remake starring Vince Vaughn. Yeah. <laughs> starring like a pre-old school Vince Vaughn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I feel like was maybe his breakout comedy old role school? oh swingers i think swingers was before old school so the swingers yeah. was like before everything he did right yeah before lost world which oh he's my in God. don't forget yep <laughs> okay that's fun oh are you sad i don't have more yeah i want more i wish i could look some up i, I know yeah I yeah uh i got a fucking case cabinet full of blu-rays over here what if i quiz you on some you can quiz me on some i mean now it'll be i'll kind have of, to like close my eyes yeah yeah it'll be kind of obvious because you'll know that like it's it's one of your I movies own, but i own like 150 and i feel yeah, like you pick don't know some. them all okay we'll okay I guess all right okay but i'll know they're real at yeah. least well will you though okay i'm gonna show the camera but you keep your eyes closed okay but also yeah. it sucks because people listening are don't worry know. this is just a bonus 
the the showing the camera is just a bonus thing. You're not missing. Well, if then if you're listening, you're playing along with me. There you go. It never forgives. It never forgets. It you never. Ask, you can ask for hints. It never forgives. It never forgets. Uh, is it a 2000s movie? I think so. Yeah, I, I'm gonna say yeah. It is so. Is the central thing an object? Uh. I've never seen this movie. Whoa, okay. Uh, but I don't think the central thing is an object. No, okay, so what? never mind. What? I was going to guess Ouija. No, it's not Ouija. Um, but I would say it's probably in the same, you know, they'd be in the same sub-genre. Maybe? I don't know. I've never seen Ouija either. I never, uh, is it a slasher? No. Get it, like one more question. Is it ghosts? I think so. <laughs> I think it's ghost-ish. I never... Dude, I don't know. Any last any any shots in the dark? Is uh It stars a uh it stars a beloved 90s actress. Sarah Michelle Gellar? Yes. <laughs> How'd you know that? I just assume horror movie beloved 90s actress Sarah <laughs> Michelle Gellar. Shit. Okay, well all I can think of is I know what you did last it's summer. Not that. But we we've seen that. Yep. Oh god, what else was she in? Shit. The Grudge. The Grudge. Yeah. Never seen it. I have my eyes now. Yeah. I've never seen it. Have you seen that? No. I. Some people say it's scary. Yeah, that's why I haven't seen it. Okay. Because I, th- I, think, I think a thing for me, it's probably because, and maybe you can empathize with this, I grew up, like I was a teenager in the early 2000s. Mm-hmm. Ghosts and shit scare me. Yeah. Like the ring scared me. And I had a TV in my room and <laughs> that I just like watching that. I had trouble falling asleep with that TV being in there, you know? Mm-hmm. And I think just like Japanese adaptations where it's like pale and dark, long hair. Yeah. And little kids. It's. Mm-mm. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen so it okay the grudge it never for, okay oh that makes sense yeah that does make sense i just in my head was imagining an object that like doesn't forgive and forget yeah so. you know what i i think it wasn't until right now that i realized that the grudge is like a grudge yeah it's you know? a curse yeah I've heard, I've heard the word or the movie title the grudge so long and so much that that's all it is to me is a movie title but no a grudge is a thing you hold yeah against someone okay got your eyes closed mm-hmm all right, this one's probably easy, but this one is the comedy that gives horror films the backhand. The comedy that gives horror... Scary movie? It's not scary movie. Is it a parody? Uh, it's not a parody. You've never seen it. Idle Hands? It is Idle Hands. <laughs> the comedy <laughs> that dares to give scary movies... Hey, hey. Look at me! I'm in the face! The backhand. I won tickets to see it when it came out. I believe it came out in 1999. Mm-hmm. I won tickets off the radio, 89X, to oh see gosh. it. I was nine or ten years old to go see it. And my dad took me to this advanced screening, and we saw it in theaters. Uh, definitely a big old boob in there, getting felt up. But I was already watching horror movies by that age, so nothing really new to me. But I'll just always remember getting an advanced screen and getting, like, free... We got the soundtrack for free. We got, like, a t-shirt and shit. So I hope the movie holds up. I don't know if it does. Seth Green's in it. I think that's supposed to be a really bad one. No. Idle Hands? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. It's got watch it. It's got Vivica A. Fox. It's got uh, Jessica Elba. Whoa. It's got Devin Sawa. Every name Sawa. you say. Devin Sawa. Every name you say is just 90s, 90s, 90s. It's got the guy who ended up playing uh, Foggy, I think. It's that guy. Oh, it in probably. Daredevil. In da- yeah, because he was like, a yeah, that's a 90s movie. Yeah, it's a 90s movie. I'd watch it. Okay. All right. Let's do another one. Okay. This one is... Close your eyes for a second and sleep forever. I mean, I know it's not Nightmare on Elm Street. Nope. Close your eyes for a second and sleep forever. Is it another foreign adaptation? It is not. Okay. I'm wondering how familiar you are with this title. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. Uh, Is it like a late 90s, early 2000s? No. 
Not earlier. At all. Yes. Is a slumber party massacre? Wow, it is. One thing's for sure: no one's getting any sleep the night of the slumber party massacre. Close your eyes for a second and sleep forever. Because I always think you're like, okay, you might not be as familiar. Yeah. If, I know it's something you have on your shelf, so that. Oh, it okay, sure. And it was earlier, and I was like, okay, sleep. Slumber party. Nice. Yeah. Very good. I haven't seen that one. Yeah. That movie, uh, the rare early slasher, I don't know how early, mid 80s probably, uh, written and directed by women. That's right. Yeah. And we talked about that one. Before. It's kind of like a parody of horror movies, or at least was intended to be. And then I believe it was shot, I think, more straight. So it's kind of got a mixed tone to it. And then the sequels, I believe, are more uh, straightforward horror comedies. But. It's interesting because I know that it's still got like just tons of gratuitous nudity in it. And yet it was written and directed by women. So it's like, is this exploitive or not? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. We'll have to watch it and find out. Yeah. I would like to watch that one. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. You want one more? Yeah, let's do it. All right. One more. One more. I don't want this one to be too short. Yeah. Because <laughs> we're, we're going to Texas Frightmare yep. in what? A week and a half pretty yes. much. Uh, a week a at week? this point. Yeah, or, yeah so a week and a half. That's yeah. why we were like, all right, what can we do the week before we leave? That you don't have to die doing research. I don't have to research. research. Yeah. Uh, but we will. We'll, this comes out next week. We also we also had to plan an episode to come out right after Texas Frightmare. Yeah. And that one, I think, will make people happy. Can yes. We, can we prime people for it? Yeah, sure. Okay, so basically, okay, so what happened is we're leaving for Texas Frightmare in a week, pretty much. And we had to come up with this episode and an episode that would come out literally right after we get back from the convention. So I'm not going to have a ton of time to edit either of these. So we figured, okay, movie reviews are pretty easy for me to edit and for us to record. So we're going to do Final Destination. Yeah. Yeah. So just that's that's my mea culpa yeah. for the uh, replacing it with Saw. Hopefully it'll appease the Final Destination nuts. Because they, they're like, then do it after Saw. And I can't. I already have my schedule laid out for the year. I made room for Saw. I can't fit Final Destination. And I'm sorry. It'll be okay. We'll review that first one. Mm -hmm. Which you've never seen. Yeah. That's okay. It's okay. You can say you have. I, there's plenty of it's, classics it's I have It's one seen. of those where I was too young to see it when it came out. Mm -hmm. And have had no reason since to watch it. So you've never seen any Final Destination? I've randomly seen <laughs> the Oh, what, the roller coaster one? one? Yeah, which everyone starts when they're on the roller coaster at Universal. Oh. In Florida. Oh, it specifically takes place it's on the Hulk, in a park? It's on the Hulk coaster. I don't think it takes place in the park, but that's the roller coaster they're yeah, using. Yeah. I thought it would just be a generic theme theme park. I think it's, it is, but oh. I think it's they filmed there. I see, I see. And it's the Hulk coaster in That's Florida. Funny. And I, for many years, assumed that was the original. Oh. So I remember talking about Final Destination and thinking like, oh yeah, I remember the beginning with like the roller coaster. <laughs> That's not the first no. one. No, <laughs> it takes a while for them to get to a roller coaster. Yeah. I think that's, it's not the first it's two. It's like three or four. It's three or four, yeah. Okay, one more. I okay. got it picked out, all right, ready? Oh, you do? Yep. All right. Um... Nope, that's too easy. Sorry. A Mother's Love is Forever. Oh, Serial Mom? No, but I appreciate the shout out to Serial Mom. <laughs> oh, am I still guessing that one? Uh, you can while I pick another one. Is it Psycho? Nope. Think more. It's more straightforward than that. It's more literal. Good night, Mommy. Mama? Yeah, Mama. <laughs> okay, this one might be obvious, but their thoughts can kill. Their thoughts can kill. Yeah. Their thoughts can Their kill. thoughts can kill. Puppet Master? No. <laughs> <laughs> Their thoughts can't kill. They got to use tools and shit and leeches. So what? Is it like like ESP? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of something with a something with a they. Mm -hmm. what you can open it? your eyes. Their thoughts can kill. It's a movie I haven't seen. It's a blind spot for me, but... It's by an acclaimed director, or at least a prominent director. De Palma? No. Uh, John Carpenter? No. Less acclaimed? I don't know. Oh, shit. I feel like this guy has a pretty decent reputation, but he's gross. Cronenberg? 
Yeah. Scanners? Scanners. Okay. The mind force. Scanners. Their thoughts can kill. Have okay. you seen Scanners? Yeah, I've seen Scanners. Oh, I haven't seen it. I just know the gif. The, the guy's yeah. head blow it up. Yeah. That's Scanners. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Those are movies we that did I it. own. Yeah. I hope that was a fun episode. It was a little <laughs> bit like we're, we're scrambling for this next convention. Yeah. But afterwards, I think I want to do an episode about the history of horror makeup Ooh. and movie makeup. We might have a guest for that one if we can finagle yeah. it. We'll start uh, broadening the scope of this podcast as soon as we can. Same thing with the channel. It's just we got to get the time to do it it's because these few weeks have been sandwiched between monster palooza and texas frightmare yeah it's been so busy yeah so 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 busy but i think we're getting a grasp on things getting some stable footing under our underground yeah if you have you know any suggestions yeah please feel free. we love suggestions because i've already gotten a few where i've gotten some repeats so that helps me know Okay, people will be happy if I do this as like an episode. Um, people wanting us to talk about tropes. Okay. And especially stuff like Final Girl. Yeah. I, I would love to do an episode about what we consider horror movies that change the genre. So yeah. whether that's Halloween or Scream or Saw or Paranormal Activity, horror movies that came out and then just had a glut of imitators after them and yeah. kind of like defined the next the subsequent few years of yeah the genre. so not even you know horror movies that everyone necessarily thinks are great it's just they came out and were so popular at that time that everyone started making movies that were like those i guess it, the ring might be like a mini version of that because it kind of i think it its kicked own. off definitely a trend of us remaking japanese horror films yeah the only one I can think of is The Grudge, but I, I think the there were more. The Eye, I think, is one. Oh. But yeah, so we, we have ideas like that, but that takes a little bit of research, a little bit of time, so we'll we'll uh, we'll get to them. Mm-hmm. But please feel free to leave suggestions. Yeah, so next will be Final Destination. After that, I'm hoping we can do a research one. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, we'll keep Maybe doing- that one can be can be horror films that like defined eras. Sure. Because that's a little bit less heavy lifting than, say, the Saw one, where I had to go back and just go through, like, academic shit. Is that the most research you've yes. had to do so far? Yeah. Yeah. It was a good episode, baby. Because that one, you get back into stuff that's so old that I had to cross-check it with a bunch of stuff to make sure I'm not just, like, saying stuff that isn't true. Yeah. But, you know, horror films that defined a era, that is a little more subjective and that I feel like it's easier to access contemporary works about those things yeah (laughs) yeah so maybe we'll do that cool and then i think every other episode uh as we planned is movie Movie reviews so if there's a movie that you really want us to review let us know Mm -hmm. people have asked for annabelle creation because apparently it'll explain the first (laughs) one though i I bet it will i'm sure it does but but hey you know what we wanted to review the first one on its own merits because for three years it existed by itself so don't tell us we should have watched Creation before doing the review. Yeah. That movie's got to be its own movie. And boy, did it suck as its own movie. I'm not even going to get into it. I'll get mad again. So uh, are we done here? I think so. It was a fun game. Yeah. I liked it. It was a fun, light little game. Good. And this is something that you can play at home, too, with your friends. Yeah. Do it. Do Fucking it. do Send it. Send us your alternate taglines for movies yeah, that we he, brought up. If you come up with better ones than we did. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> some of the ones we came up with were pretty good, yeah. I got to say. Yeah. <laughs> but challenge us in the comments. Let us know. Yeah. Be sure to rate us and review us on iTunes and any other podcasting app you use, but especially iTunes. Give us that five-star rating. Uh, you can follow Dead Meat on social media at Dead Meat James. That stuff's fun. Chelsea. You can follow me at Carebeck. That's C A R E B E C C on Twitter and Instagram. And if you want merchandise, we have deadmeatstore.com. That's right. We also have uh, deadmeatpod at gmail.com is our email address for this uh, venture. Yeah. So feel free to hit us up with suggestions there if you don't want to like leave a comment or if you're listening to this on an app that isn't conducive to leaving comments. Uh, is that it? Is that pretty much it? I All right. So. Cool. I hope you guys had fun. I had fun. Good. It was nice. We'll see you next week with Final Destination. That's right. Until then, I'm James. I'm Chelsea. And this has been the Dead Meat Podcast.